everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Inspired Cooking with Maddie. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss any recipes. Today we're going to be cooking pizza bites. Um, right after I had gastric bypass surgery, I made a promise to myself that I would never eat regular pizza again, even just the toppings. I would never get myself back down that rabbit hole because it was such a trigger food for me before surgery. So I decided to come up with a way to make pizza and that I could eat that was, you know, on my meal plan, a little bit lower carb, a little bit lower fat, um, as low sugar as possible. So this is my recipe of pizza bites. Um, you're going to need a 12 count holder. I use two of them because sometimes it makes more than 12. Um, but you're going to need a 12 count like muffin tin. And then you're also going to need some Pam spray. You're going to need um, a cup and a half of marinara sauce um, or pizza sauce, whatever. I, I found this um, actually just a couple of months ago. And this is from Walmart. It is the Tuscan marinara and it is no sugar added. So there is absolutely no sugar. Honestly, all that's in this is organic fresh tomatoes, organic fresh vegetables that include carrots, onions, and celery. And there's a little bit of sea salt and some organic fresh basil. So this is at Walmart. Um, I'm actually gonna be linking all of the nutrition information in the bottom of this. And I'm gonna try and find the ingredients that I'm using so that it can take you directly to, you know, where I purchased them for the best cost. So that is gonna be down below, um, below the actual recipe. You're also gonna need some grated Parmesan cheese, about a third of a cup. And you're gonna need about a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. This is the uh, part skim, so it's a little bit lower fat. And then, for our pepperoni, I use the turkey pepperoni minis. I got these at Giant Eagle. They can be a tad pricey, but they're much lower fat than um, regular regular pepperonis. Um, and then we're also going to need some garlic salt, black pepper, and um, oregano leaves, dried oregano leaves. And then for the crust, I know if you guys have seen my videos before, you guys know that I'm such a fan of these um, Mission Carb Balance flour tortillas. And um, I'm also going to put a link to these in the bottom and so that you can find them a little bit easier. I get these at Sam's Club. I get a 16 count for, I think it was $6.50. So if you have a Sam's Club membership, I don't know if you Costco buy you, they might have them there, but I know they have them at Sam's Club. So what we're first going to do is we are going to... Get a bowl, just a bowl like this, and we are gonna mix all of, besides the cheese, those are for top, it's for the top. Um, we're gonna mix all these ingredients together. So we are gonna use a cup and a half of the low sugar marinara sauce. We are going to use a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese, but it's a little stinky. Just going to go ahead and pour that in the bowl. These are also going to go on top. And pour this in our bowl here. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. This one happens to have parsley in it, which is absolutely fine. The first time I made this recipe, I put red pepper flakes in it, and I'm not super used to things that are extremely spicy, and boy, it was spicy. But if you like spicy, by all means, you can add that in there. We're gonna put a half a teaspoon of black pepper and then we're going to put a half teaspoon of the dried oregano leaves. And then we are going to mix this up. This is going to be the filling for our pizza bites.
once this is mixed up, you can just set it off to the side. And then what we're gonna do, if you've seen my egg bites, you know what we're gonna do with these. So we are actually going to, I use a cutting board here. And I put this on the cutting board like this. And we are going, um, my famous can of chicken that I use to make the perfect size for the 12 count muffin tins. And we're gonna put this on here wiggle it around and get our get our little liners for our muffin tins. You can set those off to the side until you have 12 or 16 if you want to have two of them going. So this is just another angle to show you how I make the liners for the muffin tins. Um, for the crust of your pizza, you're just gonna push this down on there on a cutting board to protect your counter. And simple as that. They come out like this. They don't have to be perfect. They can be kind of jagged edges. down like so. Some of these you can get three out of. Some of them you can only get two. But it's very simple and they fit perfect. These are great to take to a little party as an appetizer. They honestly, they freeze very well too. I freeze them, take them to work. We're going to continue to do this until we have the desired amount of, which I'm going to do 16 of the liners. Once you have all of your low carb liners for your muffin tin done, you're going to want to spray with Pam spray just to prevent any sticking. These don't stick near as bad as anything with egg in them. And then we are going to just take these like we did in the egg bites and just push them down like this. Another thing that you could do, I have never tried this with these, but you could add some you could do turkey sausage, you could do um, ground beef, you could do ground chicken, ground turkey to add more protein to these, but I, I think that these are just like a really fun little snack, almost like a treat, but they're, they're healthy. So then what we're going to do is our bowl of filling, we are just going to put in here. I put a little over a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon in each one. You don't want to fill these like to the very top because you're going to be topping them with a little bit of mozzarella cheese and you are going to be putting the little mini pepperonis. So you're just going to fill these. Also, you don't want to fill them too full because if you are eating them fresh out of the oven, the sauce in the inside is very warm. And I'm actually only going to make 12 of these with this one. But by all means, you can double the, the filling to make more. So once they are filled like this, all you're going to do is I measured out since I'm going to be including the nutrition information, I measured out um, a cup of the part skin mozzarella cheese. And you're just going to take it and just sprinkle on top. Also, at this point, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425. 
and you just top these with the mozzarella cheese. You can also put like a whole slice of the um, turkey pepperoni. If you have like sandwich pepperoni, you can use that. Um, but I just like the little minis, they're so cute. And I had a coupon the first time that I got them, so. So this is what they look like once they are filled. And then I just take, I mean, these are so little. I literally just take a few of them. I think I put like six or seven on there and put them on top. I've also made these in the extremely little tiny um, mini muffin tin. I think it has like 24 little cups and usually I just take two of these to work um, as a meal like for my dinner. Since I work like 12 to 13 hour shifts I do eat like I try and eat three meals when I'm there just because I'm constantly kind of moving and on the go and so I'm burning some calories while I'm there. And then once you have your little pepperoni on top, that's a big hunk, we are going to put these in the oven on 425 for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. Can't wait to see what they look like when they come out. Once they come out of the oven, I let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Remember, if you're going to eat them right away, that the inside um, contents are is very hot. So especially if you're making these and having them with your kids, um, you want to be careful because the sauce inside can be very hot. So then all I do is take a butter knife and pop them out. And then I let them cool just a tad longer, maybe about another 10 minutes. And then I put two of them in a baggie or a Tupperware and take them for a meal. You just pop them out like that. And that is how you make low carb, low fat pizza bites. Um, these are wonderful to take to a picnic, to a party, pop them in the oven right when you get there, and then they should be done and ready to go in like 30 minutes. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys again very soon.